Hi, I'm Chef Kurt, and I'd like to welcome all of you back to another wonderful episode of my cooking show. We're all in for a special treat, because we are so lucky to have a lovely guest chef with us today. She happens to be a dear, dear friend of mine, the talented up-and-coming Chef Renee. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Of course, we are so happy to have you. And together we're going to show you how to make a scrumptious American apple pie. Ooh. As all of you know, Thanksgiving is coming up shortly, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you this amazing recipe for an iconic American dessert. Oh, Kurt, that is so sweet of you. Yes, apple pie has become a symbol of American prosperity and national pride. And as they say, nothing is quite American as apple pie. Am I right? That's right, Renee. Mm. Apple pie has become a staple at Thanksgiving meals, and we're going to show you how to make this wonderful dessert for your own special dinner spread on Thanksgiving. We'll start off with a crust, take a food processor, add three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and pulse it a couple of times just to mix it up. Then add one and a half sticks of refrigerated butter cut into pieces, and pulse until the texture looks mealy. Then add one fourth cup of refrigerated vegetable shortening, and pulse a few more times until it's completely mixed in. Remove the lid, and on it sprinkle seven tablespoons of refrigerated apple jack. The most American of all alcohols. <laughs> <laughs> Careful now, you don't want to get any apple jack on your J. Crew sweater. I'll try. <laughs> <sighs> now replace the lid and pulse until it's completely incorporated. <laughs> Divide the dough in half, shape each half into a disc. Wrap each disc in plastic wrap and refrigerate for one hour or overnight. This will allow the fat from the butter and the vegetable shortening to re-solidify and for the flour to absorb all of that wonderful flavor from the apple jack. That sounds delicious. Now I'm going to start on the filling. First things first. Take six apples, three of them should be Fuji apples, and three of them should be golden delicious apples. Peel and core the apples and slice them into one quarter inch thick wedges. Toss the apples with one quarter cup of sugar and place them in a colander over a large pot. Allow this to drain for one and a half hours. Place the pot over medium heat and reduce to two tablespoons. Set this aside to cool. Now take the drained apples into a bowl, toss them with one third cup of sugar, five tablespoons of tapioca flour, two tablespoons of apple jelly, one tablespoon of apple cider, two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lime juice, one-fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and finally one-fourth teaspoon of allspice. Now we're ready to assemble and bake the pie. Take one of the discs of dough from the refrigerator, sprinkle a little flour on the counter, place the unwrapped disc on the counter, lightly sprinkle the top of the dough with flour, then roll the dough into a 12-inch circle. Just roll the dough into the rolling pin and unroll the dough onto the pan. Now just gently press the dough into the sides of the pan, crimping the edges over the top and trimming off any excess dough. Now we will start putting the apple slices in concentric circles starting around the edges. Working towards the center with the apples evenly interlaced, forming a slight mound at the center of the pie. Pour the remaining liquid in the bowl over the apples. Then roll out the second disc of dough like we did the first one. And unroll it over the apples. Press the edges of the dough around the rim of the pie, trimming off any excess dough. Using a small knife, create a few slits near the center of the pie. Now we place the pie on a sheet pan. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take out all the racks from your oven and place the sheet pan with a pie on it directly on the oven floor. We're doing this so that the bottom of the pie will brown and cook quickly before the apples have a chance to get overcooked. 
Take the pie out of the oven and brush the top of the crust with the reduced apple juice that we had prepared earlier. Now, take an oven rack and place it on the lowest position in the oven. Place the pie on this rack and continue baking for another 20 minutes. We are now placing the pie on the rack so that the bottom of the crust doesn't burn. And there it is. The perfect American apple pie. Mm. That smell brings back so many wonderful memories of our many Thanksgivings together in the Hamptons. Yes, it certainly does, doesn't it? Now, you should let this cool for at least four hours before serving. Otherwise, you may burn the roof of your mouth. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Mm -mm. And make sure you use a serrated knife when cutting the pie, which makes it easier on the crust. It sure does. Thank you so much for watching this episode on how to make a delectable American apple pie. A special thank you to my guest today, mm. the lovely Chef Renee. Well, it was my absolute pleasure. We hope you'll be joining us again soon. A happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at Cooking with Kurt. I'm sure we all have so much to be thankful for. Until next time, bye-bye now. now.